So many great athletes and stories this week, including this one to me. 16-year-old Carly Smith from New Brunswick became the first amputee to compete at a junior nationals. She wears a prosthetic on her left arm. She played the third position for the team from Moncton. As you can tell, what a great delivery. What a great slide on this young lady. And New Brunswick finished in fourth place, losing a tiebreaker to Alberta yesterday afternoon. And Carly Smith showed everybody this week that you can do anything you put your mind to. What an inspiration to many of the players, including all of us here at TSN. Uh, she put on a great show on the ice for her, her province, and making her friends and family very proud. In our feature matchup, there, Manitoba, a 3-2 advantage in this gold medal game over Team Alberta. And it is Manitoba and Mackenzie Zacharias with Hammer once again in a close game thus far. Just got to sit hard if you can. So a lot of people watching this game, including the young lady that we just told you about, that would be Carly Smith. And we appreciate you, Carly, joining us. First and foremost, tell us about your week, how you guys played, and how you felt you did. Um, our week was really fun. We played really well. Um, we're a really young team and we have lots of more years at this and we came fourth so that was a big accomplishment for us. Carly, you chose curling as a sport and we've seen your prosthetic device. Why curling? Um, well, my mom was a curler and so she got me into it so then I just started curling and I liked it. So <laughs> That's a great reason. <laughs> Carly, you mentioned the youth of your team. Did you even exceed a lot of your expectations because you and your teammates have so many years left to come back and compete at this level? Yeah, our goal was to win one game and we ended up winning like five or six, so it was pretty uh, good for us. You know, when I think about New Brunswick, I think for the last number of years we've thought about Justin Como because she was the team that we thought would come out. What were your provincial championships like? So our provincial championships were very um, interesting. So they were undefeated in the prelims and in the provincials, we still haven't beat them. Our first game, we lost to them. And then we had to beat them three times in a row to get here. Yike. Yeah, so it was pretty surprising. Carly, what were some of the challenges early on for curling and your prosthetic arm? Because you've really made it look easy in so many ways, especially for me, coming out with your slide, which looks so smooth. Well, I've never slid with a broom before so I'm, I'm just kind of used to it and like since I have one arm I have to be balanced so it's just like it's naturally I'm naturally balanced I guess and then before when I didn't have a prosthetic I would use nothing and just tuck my um, broom under my arm and it was like difficult so then my prosthetist designed this curling arm and it really helped me and it just feels natural now and if I wanted to I could throw with a broom I'm just more comfortable without one and what is sweeping like for you? Any challenges there? No, sweeping feels so natural with my arm. Like I'm so comfortable with it. I, I trust it completely. It would, it would never uh, break. It's remarkable. I think that for a lot of uh, juniors that are learning how to curl, they teach them what we call airplane slides or to not throw with a broom. And it is so incredibly difficult. And for you, it's, it's just remarkable. Talk yeah. to us about what you've learned this week and what your team needs to do to make sure that you're the New Brunswick team next year up in Fort McMurray. I think we've learned a lot this week as to um, never doubt ourselves, I guess, because um, we did so well. And next year, Team Como was aged out, so we have a pretty good chance at coming back. Carly, listen, we appreciate your time you're an inspiration to us and i know a lot of young curlers here and i'm sure other curlers watching thanks for your time and honestly if we can ever kick kathy out of the broadcast booth you can come be an analyst with me anytime you choose <laughs> thank you ryan thank you carly best of luck going forward and next year and thanks for your time thank you that is carly smith from team new brunswick what a great story and we appreciate her time and you got a fan for life up here in the booth that's you for got sure two I had the opportunity to sit at the banquet. We were talking about it, Brian, with the moms from the New Brunswick team and just talking about the youth of that team and, you know, knowing that Justin's gone for next year and what they learned. She said, you know, hoping to win a game so they didn't come in here with expectations. But what a great story to show, even if you don't have expectations, that when you get here, you can compete. And I think that they believe that very much now. And I think that that's a team that we will most definitely see, if not next year, then in the future from New Brunswick, for sure. Just 10. Yeah.
they'll go all the way in there. Okay. We talked right. about and she talked about a young team. Their lead was 13 years old. I mean, that is it's remarkable how well they did under the bright lights and the spotlights. So good for them.